Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Bowie, Maryland, and even more specifically than that, we're in front of Six Flags America. Now, I uh, just I just realized the other day, and I mentioned in my video, when I visited Six Flags New England, I only had one more Six Flags to visit before I had officially visited every Six Flags in the United States of America. So I figured, what the heck, we weren't that far. So I swung down here to Maryland so I could finally check the last Six Flags off my list. So today we'll be checking off Six Flags America. Kind of an interesting name. I remember growing up in uh, Northern Indiana, the closest Six Flags was Six Flags Great America in Illinois. So this is just Six Flags America. So I don't know if it's like Six Flags Great America, just not as great, but uh, has a little interesting history behind it. Um, this park was founded in the 1970s by Ross Perot. Yes, Ross. Perot, the former presidential candidate that ran against uh, Bill Clinton and George H.W. Bush. He, uh, he funded the creation of a safari park, an animal safari park. Someone is honking, someone's honking their, their horn over here over and over again. They're trying to find their car by honking it. I would be, I would be irritated, but I do the exact same thing, so I can't, I can't say anything. But yes, Ross Perot funded a, uh, a wildlife safari park right here in uh, in Bowie, Maryland, and um, so that would evolve quickly. Uh, within I think within like five years or so, it began be transforming into a theme park originally named Wild World, and then you know it, during the 90s, uh, Six Flags I think Six Flags bought a lot of parks in the 90s. They they purchased this park and they, they named it Six Flags America because we're not too far, we're pretty close to Washington DC, the nation's capital, so they kind of gave it a, 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 a colonial patriotic theme and dubbed it simply Six Flags America. So I'm really excited to visit my final Six Flags park here in the United States. There is, um, there's at least one in Canada I have not been to, but uh, we will, we will look into that at another time. So please, follow me. All right, we enter through this building right here. Definitely has that colonial, patriotic look to it. All right, we enter onto this colonial, Main Street area. See, it says 1780 on that building over there. And you don't need to travel all the way to Philadelphia to see the Liberty Bell. They have a replica of the uh, Liberty Bell right here in Six Flags America, complete with the uh, the crack that the Liberty Bell received the very first time someone tried to rig it. Over here at the Looney Tunes Emporium, you can see the busts of the different Looney Tunes characters as colonial figures. We'll take a peek in here. Uh oh, look who's here. We got Peppy Le Pew. <laughs> Watch out, cat there. You know, warning this cat, uh, Peppy is sneaking up behind her, giving some of his. Uh, very intense, very unwanted affection. I'm Bat Bear. We have Bugs Bunny's primary rival there, Mr. Elmer Fudd, a blithering idiot with a gun. And Bugs' other arch rival, Yosemite Sam, a raging maniac with two guns. Daffy Duck there, someone has, has placed a hat on his head. And then uh, Sylvester and Tweety. I guess uh, Sylvester always trying to eat Tweety, but uh, they seem to, to be at peace with each other at the moment. I think one of my favorite designed uh, Looney Tunes characters, 
Marvin the Martian, just, you know, the strange, like, gladiator helmet with the green dress. Just a, a very interpretation of what an alien may look like. I was wondering, uh, wondering where he was. The uh, head Looney Tune himself, Bugs Bunny. You have Hollywood Daffy Duck there. For some reason, he's way more massive than all these other figures. And good old Foghorn Leghorn. Is this, what is he supposed to be? He's a giant, a giant chicken. Is that? Uh, that one, he has a giant rooster. He's like one of the biggest characters, but he's he's uh, he's a rooster. Anyways, let's uh, head across the way here, where they have the uh, they have the Six Flags Emporium, a completely separate emporium. This is where they sell their squid hats and their turd hats. We have some angelic turds, some of these weird uh, scaly fish turds. Actually got some really cool Fright Fest shirts in here. Of course, all the Six Flags Fright Fests are, are different in their own way. But uh, they have some interesting characters. It says Bite of the Vampire. I don't know if these are actual like characters they use for Fright Fest. It's a really scary looking bear right there. We move past the Colonial Main Street into the main park. Get this uh, beautiful fountain. See the old timey clock tower there and if you can't read an old-timey clock they have the ye old digital clock underneath love the postcard style banners there which each letter has a different uh, different ride or attraction have the grand theater right here notice this they've been doing a pretty uh, pretty heavy push to try to get people in to work as scare actors they are paying uh, 15 an hour as a scare actor I mean that sure beats uh, being paid in pizza. I do like their swing here. Some of these swings, some of the swings are very, are very beautiful. They're like pieces of art, pieces of art that uh, fling you in a circle and terrify you. Oh yeah, listen to all those screams. They're swung by their chains. Interesting though is they refer to the swing here as the flying carousel. I guess this would technically be one of those cases where this is a carousel, but not a merry-go-round. Oh my gosh, people on the bridge definitely got the worst of that one. That was so soggy. I think everyone got drenched. This may be the soggiest flume I've ever seen. Yeah, look, look at that splash of water as it hits the people on the bridge. Oh, and then everyone on the boat, you can see they're all rubbing their faces. They're all, they all got soaking wet too. This thing is this thing is unreal. It's, it's a shipwreck falls here. And I, I, I may I may yeah I may have to say this may be the soggiest looking uh, flume I've ever seen. Looks like they have like a Wild West arena over here. Does not look like they're currently running any shows. Probably have some gunfights out here. You can see a crash pad mattress there for probably someone taking a fall off one of the buildings. So it says shows will be turning this fall for Fright Fest. So I don't know. Maybe that means a uh, a spooky, a spooky Wild West gunfight. That, that could be fun. Actually, it looks like they have a whole section of the park that's uh, closed back here. This may be may be for for Fright Fest. I don't know. It's like a Wild West area back here. I know. I know some of the other parks closing down parts of the park to prepare for uh, for Fright Fest. So I don't know if this is 
a permanently shut down area or just uh, temporary. Maybe they're setting up some haunts back there. Big old swinging pirate ship there. And this wooden roller coaster here is known simply as Roar. Oh, there they go. You definitely hear the uh, roar of the wood and of the humans. Uh, this coaster here is called Firebird. Where are they going? Okay. Into the into the big loop there. Oh, there they go. Lost them there for a second. Spaghetti. Oh, there was just a, just like a burst of flames over there. Oh yeah, there you see that, that big flame burst there. It says sea flags. Actually, I, I guess you're supposed to use your human body to uh, to make the X there. See the pirates flight there, spinning circular ride. Everyone gets to ride their own little pirate ship. Yep, get your own little private pirate ship to fly through the air. Got this crab over here. It says Six Flags on it. It's got the Maryland uh, state flag on it. I love the Maryland state flag. It's so gaudy and ugly. It's, it's gotta be one of my top top favorite state flag. I believe this is one of the oldest rides in the park, the uh, Capitol Railways, the, uh, the train ride here at Six Flags America. And the train has arrived. Hey look, Wiley Coyote, what are you doing on there? You don't know? I wouldn't trust this guy. <laughs> Did you have a good train ride? It didn't. It didn't explode. That's a good thing. <laughs> Darn, he says. Oh, he, he wanted to explode it. He just didn't achieve his goals. Oh, look at that. It's heartwarming. Good luck in your future endeavors, Wiley. All right, let's grab a seat on the train here. Also, oh, this that we begin this train, so please keep your food covered until we get back to the station. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Sylvester, the giant, giant cockatoo. Riding out here to the picnic area of Six Flags. Oh, you can see the, the Wonder Woman swings there, towering above uh, the park. I think there's helicopters stored up there. Right, right. Alright, pulling back into the station here. And here the summer of 2023 is the summer 
of carousels here on the Carpetbagger channel. See a very uh, unique carousel. I don't know if I've ever seen one quite like this. You got uh, those big animal heads up at the top, and it looks like there's uh, either few or no horses. It seems like a lot of what you call menagerie animals, uh, different species all through the carousel. It's actually turning really slow. It looks like kind of a slower carousel. And you can see all the different uh, animals here on the carousel. The lion. There is some horses though. There's a purple horse. There's also a blue tiger. The giraffe. Elephant there. The pink zebra. That's the second pink zebra we've seen this summer. The panther. A rhinoceros. A uh, ostrich. Yeah, some very interesting uh, animals here on this particular carousel. Oh, look at that. Uh, look at that pink elephant right there. I think I'm gonna go right for this big camel here. So we need to uh, we need to make peace. So unfortunately, I got on the carousel. I was gonna ride the camel. Decided we needed to finally make peace with the camel species. Got on the camel, got ready to ride, and then the carousel broke down, and then they and they closed it. So no uh, no carousel ride today here at Six Flags. New Eglet. Right, we are heading into Lo okay, we are heading into Looney Tunes Movie Town here. I think they had a very similar section at uh, Six Flags New England the other day. Got the statue here of uh, Bugs Bunny directing a movie. See Tweety's operating the camera there. Then we got Taz. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe just uh, just snarling. I don't know what this attraction is. Have uh, looks like it is currently closed. Has some uh, almost sideshow style posters on the top. Yeah, see the astonishing Tweet Dini. We have uh, Tweety Bird as Harry Houdini up there. You can get your palm read by uh, Bugs Bunny. Yeah, I really wonder uh, what uh, what was in here. It looks like it's all closed up right now. I think this is Bugs Bunny's hole right here. You see the mailbox up there on top. We look underground. We have these giant carrots. We can peek inside. What's in here? We have uh, Bugs Bunny's raincoat and uh, a bunch of a bunch of carrots, a bunch of cans of carrots. Here we have Peppy Le Pew's Tea Party, which I guess is a teacup-like ride with uh, Peppy Le Pew <laughs> up there um, uh, forcing himself on, uh, on that cat. There is uh, Foghorn Leghorn there in his overalls being uh, encircled by a train. So around the world in 80 seconds. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's actually more like around the world in 15 seconds. It takes 15 seconds for it to complete one rotation. And it is time to party as we head into the Mardi Gras section of the park. Guess if you can't visit Six Flags New Orleans anymore, this is uh, this is the closest thing. It says it's Cajun time right here. And here we have the Raging Cajun roller coaster. Looks like a uh, wild mouse style roller coaster, but instead of mice, it has alligators. Yeah, you can see those twirling alligators up there. For some reason, I just I really like the name Gator McGee, especially for a for a pizza stand. There are the French Quarter flyers there. It's kind of a, a, a spinning ride where you can kind of control your own cart with that big fin in the front. A lot of times I'll have birds on these, but these have Mardi Gras jesters. This tower here is the Voodoo Drop. Them racing to the top. Oh, are they ready, are ready to drop already? Are they gonna come plummeting here? 
Oh, it's making him, making him think about it a little bit. And... There they go. Oh yeah, that's all the way to the bottom. And this big wooden roller coaster called the Wild One, and I guess inside the roller coaster is a uh, go-kart track. underneath the wild one to enter Gotham City. So this is Gotham City. The Gotham Funnel Cake Factory, the Gotham City food court there with the bat signal over top, the Harley Quinn, Spin sanity there. Oh my gosh. Like I mentioned recently, I've never rode one of these. But uh, just from just from like just from eyeballing it, I can tell this is not the kind of ride I really uh, really appreciate or love. I don't know, maybe someday though. Never say never. But maybe sometimes say never. Oh, look at this, here in the food court, we have the Batmobile. And this is, this is my second favorite Batmobile here. This is the Keaton Mobile. My first favorite is the West Mobile. Oh no, Batmobile's got a flat wheel. And, uh, and Joker got away, I guess. And the Joker's got his own roller coaster called the, uh, the Joker's Jinx. Yeah, look at this big mass of twisted steel here. It's like a big bunch of metal spaghetti. Oh, where's it going? Six Flags New England, the Riddler had his own roller coaster. Here, he's just got a roundup. This is the Penguin's Blizzard River. It's a uh, really soggy raft ride. Oh, here it comes. Pretty soggy. Oh yeah, they just pour water on your head. That, that, that's fun. Hello there. Good, how are you doing? Oh, oh everyone wants to. Everyone wants to get pictures with the uh, with the stilt walker. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. And you? How are you? Pretty good. Now you said you, you said you watch my channel? Yes, I do. I do. I do. I, I appreciate it. Channel. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. So good stilt walking. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the good day. I will. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I was getting ready to leave the park, and I noticed the carousel was back open. So uh, we need another shot to ride this. Uh, Amazing animal themed carousel here. All right, let's try this again. All right, camel. I know me and you, we've had some, had some rough times. We've had some uh, bad experiences, but uh, I think it's very important that we ride this carousel together and, uh, and put an end to all, uh, all this nonsense. All right, Mr. Camel, here we go. Well, look at this. Uh, Look at this green and purple tiger running next to us. And I guess there is horses on this carousel. They're just all in the uh, back road back there. And then we got a pink zebra in front of us. He's actually wearing a saddle, but uh, zebras are not supposed to wear saddles because zebras are wild animals. 
You know, Camel, I think this may be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. This really is a fascinating menagerie of animals on uh, this particular carousel, but I like it. I like uh, carousels that are a little bit different. So thank you for joining me here today at Six Flags America. And with this visit, I've officially visited every Six Flags park in the United States. So let me know in the comment section of all the Six Flags parks that I've filmed, which one is your favorite? Which one did you guys enjoy the most? And what, which park would you like it to see me return to? Is there a, a, a Six Flags park that, uh, that you would like to see me revisit? Of course, I'm you know, interested in checking back in to, uh, to see what has changed at the, the various Six Flags parks, you know, theme parks are always evolving. They're always uh, adding new things, taking new things out, so it's worth checking in every so often. Of course, uh, oh my gosh, screaming over there at the, at the swing. Of course, I'll be keeping my, uh, my uh, subscription to Six Flags. Uh, of course, I, I will be going to, uh, to uh, Fright Fest as well at some of the Six Flags. I do enjoy the Fright Fest event at uh, Six Flags. But uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you coming along on this journey. Another, uh, another uh, thing I can check off on my list of things to do. Visit every Six Flags in the United States. Heck, maybe someday we'll try to visit every Six Flags in the world. We'll see about that. But uh, again, thank you so much. If you like these videos, consider subscribing. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, other fun, random stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more, we'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and uh, doing personalized messages on Cameo. If you're interested in receiving or giving a personalized message from me, uh, all that information is in the description of this video and all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and these six flags high in the air. Until next time, this one's in the bag.